What's going on? How y'all doing? What's happening? Now, normally I don't pay the SB awards, no mind. ESPN right now is just another plantation, and it's, you know, the whole Maria Taylor and everything that came out of the mouth of Rachel Nichols, you know, all that's gone down. So it's not exactly the best of times with the situations. However, last night, UConn's ladies basketball player Paige um, Beckers gave an incredible speech. She was chosen as the college athlete of the year. But more importantly, and she can play too. But you know what, Gino Toretta, if you watch uh, Ladies UConn Ball, you know you, you didn't produce some great ones. But she showed class and dignity. She dedicated her award to black women. Yes. You never, ever hear that said on that network. Black women have never gotten their due sports-wise, professional-wise, etc. wise and I think it was very important. She also made a reminder of Breonna Taylor, who was lynched. And I'm going to say this again. Breonna Taylor deserved as much coverage as George Floyd. Because believe me, that's a lynching that's gone unsolved, institutionalized systematic racism. And that, Kentucky got that karma hanging over. Paige uh, Becker's speech was incredible. She thanked Black female pioneers in the coaching ranks, players, etc. Black women deserve to be given that due. <clears throat> you know, it's very important that that is acknowledged in the journalist field, etc. Because it has not, it's been taken for granted. You know, I spend a lot of time, black men go through it tenfold. You know, black women have never gotten their due with the sport and with the socialization of the capitalism of an ESPN, of the sports world, of just in general. So I thought that she went beyond and she did an incredible job. It needs to be addressed. Um, you can't begin to fathom to speak on how it gets glossed over. Black female, African-American WNBA players, coaches, assistant coaches, different ranks who have not gotten their just due. So I thought Paige Becker's speech dedicating the award because she said something that was very true. She will get more attention being white female with it than a black woman who will come up there and win. And that's not by accident, you know. And she's aware of that, you know. See, when people talk about they woke or they're aware. This is being woke and aware because you're on a stage and a platform where you don't have to say nothing. She could sit there and use white privilege and just, but she didn't do that. So I give her much respect for that. It needs to be known, you know, just like um, Zayla Avangard, who won the spelling bee, the first African American to win the 96 years. You got to acknowledge that. And black females, that has to be acknowledged, breaking barriers, doing things and being acknowledged in all the phases. You know, remember the Athea Gibsons, the Wilma Rudolphs, till you get to Serena and Venus Williams. You have to acknowledge all that, you know, in all different phases because it takes all to make it whole. And it doesn't get the same trajectory. Sad to say, but I will give Paige Becker's speech much respect. So that's my thoughts and takes about Paige um, Brecker, Becker's acknowledgement of African-American women when she won her award last night. And I thought that was the best part of that whole show. Really was. Please hit the like, subscribe, or welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And um, you cannot <clears throat> afford to ignore anybody's contribution on this planet and black women are very important beyond just the economics it's spiritual and it runs deeper respect to Paige Becker for acknowledgement I'm out